All right, so here is the longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple, former UFC women's bantamweight champion Holly Holm. DC, she's got the highlight of all highlights. She'll be looking to produce another one here tonight. That night she knocked out Ronda Rousey was absolutely insane because Ronda Rousey was still riding super hot. Nobody thought she had a chance. Set up that beautiful head kick just because, as always, Holly Holm will follow a game plan to a T. One of the smartest fighters in the entire UFC uses her brain, her skill, and her footwork in order to set traps for opponents, and then she strikes and strikes to finish the fight. Holly Holm is a phenomenal fighter. And when her back has been up against the proverbial wall, she comes out and dominates someone like Megan Anderson, as she did back at UFC 225. Holly Holm chasing further greatness here tonight. of the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Holly, the preacher's daughter. Come on! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. All right, Herb Dean, third man You're in the right. octagon for this one. Good. Dateline, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, back at the Scotiabank Arena. There's been a lot of UFC history in this building already. You know, a lot of UFC history, but the main event has always been two guys, whether it's John Jones versus somebody or Max Holloway versus somebody. Those guys have made this arena a second home for their career. Real quick leg kick. Well, her front kick is a beautiful thing, and she got it home there. Gotta think that that's a good sign for her in a matchup with a fighter that maybe has more ways to win overall. That's a big moment for her landing this particular strike because this strike allows for her to stay standing and also keeps her at a range where she can see what's coming in her direction. Big spot. I know it's only one, but it's very big in terms of where and how this fight's going to play out. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Both fighters throwing heat now. Chasson gets crushed with that hook. Just missing on the high kick there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. 
Oh, her knees are the business, man, and she is not just throwing one, right? We're talking about knees in bunches, and most of them have landed. You don't generally see that. You don't see somebody throw so many knees back to back, but there is no threat of a takedown to take full advantage of every weapon she has at her disposal. Well, she better not be too dismissive of this calf kick because I see some visible bruising. There. Well, the first one doesn't bother you. But then before you know it, all of a sudden you can barely walk. She needs to start checking right now. So nice land with the left kick there by the oh, What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing. But she's got to get on the right kick. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. And that spinning kick found its home up top. All right, so you see some welting now on the thigh a little bit as she continues to attack that area effectively. It's a big part of the leg, so it takes a little longer to really start to see the effects of what you're doing. Right now, she's landing, but down the line, boy. She stays the course, it'll pay dividends. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, she continues to stay busy, and no surprise, she continues to connect with these punches. She's so fast and so accurate, and also the cardio allows her to fight at such a great pace. Home gets back up. Round one winding down here. Uh, Home's out for the end of round one. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their... Uh, ...boots up by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Are these shorts mic'd up? Did you hear that inside leg kick? No, that is just the force that she is throwing her entire body into that inside leg kick. Ooh. Everything on point tonight. She lands another beautiful combo. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block that one. is good there by Macy Shasson. Just a... She's hurt. Beautiful hard hook as she presses forward and lands on the ground. She lands once again. John, it's her best strike. She has a great hook, and right now, she lands right on the chin of her opponent. That was nice. Holly Holmes in full guard now. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the preacher's guard. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Oh, she had another calf kick there. I'm not even sure she has the ability to check at this point. She doesn't even have the, the ability. She's lost. Right now, she has been thoroughly confused by how her opponent is landing this kick over and over again. Unbelievable. Very crafty, finding an opening 
to land a beautiful punch. Now she gains some separation. Oh, so how about that? She gets the takedown late in the round. The persistence paid off, Chad. Persistence pays off. She is a cardio machine. So in order to secure a very big takedown like that late in the round, testament to her. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Watching that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this match. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive fight. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Beautiful jab there. Well, without even looking at those stats bottom of your screen, you know that the most significant strike in this fight has been to the body. It has been there for her all night long. That's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! Right back! Right back! Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. Yeah, her opponent's limping. She's done a really good job of attacking that leg kick and setting it up to make sure that opponent... Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Oh, great block there. Chasson's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, hook to the head by Macy Chasson. There's another one. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight. And it's made for a very good She snapped her head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. Oh, nice right hand. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the close shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would cut the fight. Chasson's limping pretty seriously right now. It was that last kick to the right leg that appeared to cause her the problems. We'll keep an eye on that storyline as the fight continues. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Holm. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young ladies. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. Who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they've gone into round number four? Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Nice punch from the clinch by home. Trying to kick the leg out. So I think if I was a pro fighter, I might be a leg kicker, man. I mean, this weapon has changed the game, and she's limping pretty bad now. She's limping very bad. I mean, when you talk about fighters, they want to be stuck. What a strike. Still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. Wow! She's getting up. Yep. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Front kick there defensively, not a good sign for him. Bad. Immediately gets the underhook. Big double leg, double change. So no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. 20 down, five oh. to go. And there's the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Horn. I'm here. The last round was rough. But that's what we expected. This round, we're going to turn it around. I want you to get it. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth yeah. and final round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Straight to the body by Holly Holm. So she gets the flush knockout here tonight, and you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory.
Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. So your winner tonight, Holly Holm, the preacher's daughter. She's been a little bit up and down in her UFC career. She was certainly up here tonight. And we have seen an uptick in the aggression out of Holly Holm.